Before we continue with catalytic cracking, I want to show you the different type of cracking process that we have in the industry or petrochemical industry. And well, actually thermal cracking is not that extensively used nowadays. We now use catalytic cracking with the catalyst or we use steam cracking, which is much more efficient. Now these are used depending on what do you want to do. So for instance, if we're talking about a long uh, chain, we will be typically be doing a catalytic cracking because this will break the long chain into two molecules. If you're talking about thermal cracking, you will do the same. This is a little bit more expensive, requires high temperatures and so on. Steam cracking, you already know guys, these are used for small or middle molecules to essentially increase the ethylene, propylene, and butane contents. Okay, so what do we crack? In catalytic cracking, we tend to crack long chains. Thermal cracking, similar. In steam cracking, medium chains, because we want to produce small chains. In the catalytic cracking, we want long chains to convert to medium chains, especially for gasolines and other fuels. The same is true for thermal cracking. Temperatures, well, catalytic cracking is typically low because we have a catalyst. Thermal cracking is moderate because it requires temperature. And steam cracking will require a very high temperature in order to break medium chains into small chains. Pressure, low, high, moderate. So the problem with thermal cracking is that you require high pressure resection. Whereas in catalytic cracking, we don't need temperature, rather catalyst and in the steam cracking pressure is uh, not that concern actually the main concern is in the separation but in the cracking per se we do not require high pressures catalyst well stated silica and no other catalysts are involved in these two guys the mechanism is heteros heterolytic fission so they break and homolytic free radical will be the mechanism of choice for these two right here. Okay, so this is just an overview. The steam cracking of naphtha, which was uh, seen in the previous section, we already covered that. Now we're going to see a little bit on the catalytic cracking, not that much because this is much more into petroleum refining. Okay, so let's check it out. <laughs> 